I've got a story of injustice that you're probably not going to believe. It involves a teenage human trafficking victim who was uh, initially charged with first degree murder after she stabbed her accused rapist, multi-time rapist, sentenced this week in an Iowa court to five years of supervised probation and ordered to pay $150,000 in restitution to the man's family. The man being the rapist. The guy who held her, forced her to be raped by other people, raped her multiple times, and she as a child did the only thing she could think to do to save herself was to fight back. She is going to have to pay a fortune to the family of the rapist. This is Piper Lewis, 17 year old now. Um, this killing happened back in June 2020. It was 37 year old Zachary Brooks. So, a reminder 37 year old had taken a 15 year old and was raping her and allowing other people to rape her. Uh, the charges were punishable by up to 10 years in prison. So, thankfully, that didn't happen. We'll, we'll get to more of what actually happened in the incident. But the $150,000, Nina, the judge is saying there's nothing that can be done. That's just what the law is. And I guess maybe that's true. I'm not a lawyer, but man, sometimes the justice system delivers such pure injustice. Yeah, and there's such thing as just laws and unjust laws. And in this situation, uh, if the judge is in fact right in here, I don't know, you know whether or not, but if this is true that the judge's hands are that tied, uh, there are cases where judges should be able to have discretion, and this is one of them. You want to talk about a miscarriage of justice? Hell, the family should be paying her, and 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 not her paying them. I'm glad to see that a GoFundMe page was started by her, a math teacher. But this this should not. I mean, you and, and members of the man's family should say we don't want it. Yeah. Really, I mean, for yeah. all that she has gone through, her life is forever changed, forever. I want to say forever ruined, you know, but but forever tainted by this, even though she can overcome it. She, her life will never, ever be the same. Jesus Christ. You know, it's anyway, John, this kind of stuff just it drives me crazy. I mean, rape is such a cruel, cruel crime. And I'm being PG because we're a family show. But yep. then on top of that, having her raped multiple times by other people, too. What you know, this is a WTF moment on this. So this is an example of an unjust law and the 100%. family should step in and say, we don't want to dime from her. Yeah. Or if we take it, we are giving it to victims of human trafficking, uh, you True. know, w women who've been who've suffered sexual violence. Like there are any number of different organizations you can give this to that can do a lot of good that if you are going to take it. Um, That's true. But by the way, uh, helping to counterbalance that injustice, there is a GoFundMe campaign that was started for Piper Lewis. It is currently, yeah. as of right now, I mean, it might be higher right now, but raised over when we had taken a screenshot, it was $355,000. Nearly 6,000 people had contributed. It was started by Lewis's former math teacher who stated on the page, the funds will be used to pay off a restitution uh, and the state, quote, remove financial barriers for Piper in pursuing college and university or starting her own business and to, quote, give Piper the financial capacity to explore ways to help other young victims of sex crimes. And so you can see, we'll put up a screenshot so that you can uh, track down the GoFundMe if you want. And so- Thank God. Yeah, thank thank God that there are these people, more than 6,000 people will help. It's, n yeah. but I will just say, similar to when like, you know, there's a GoFundMe that raises a bunch of money to help someone with cancer, that is great, but that does not mean that the injustice of a system that requires people to go to GoFundMe for this sort of thing is not still injustice. It is because thankfully people focused on this story and so the money comes in, but it very easily could have not. And so this is good for Piper Lewis. This will help a ton, hopefully. Um, but we also need to change the law to make it so that there's not future Piper Lewis's and to protect, right. uh, protect girls like her. Yes, absolutely. And and any boys that may be victims of human trafficking and rape as well. Yes. Because it does happen to boys too. 100%. Yes. No, that, that's very good for you to uh, recognize. Okay.